You're late. For what? Fair enough. The Wild Wild West. If you're gonna if you're gonna be nice about it. <laughs> no, I might not, dude. I thought that was the rough and ready podcasting no, that your generation like loves. No, I don't like the rough. <laughs> you don't? don't okay, like then it. let's hear something. You I can like rough me to play ball. Now what was that like? <laughs> what was that like? You did that. You did that to me the first time I was oh, ever yeah, on you it. were awesome. It, it <laughs> fucked me up, dude. You were awesome. <laughs> it literally fucked me up. Because I didn't know that was yeah. It's I was best. like, does he hate me? Dude, that's like what it's like hanging out with you. Me, yeah, I get it. I'm still thinking of a conversation we had in like 2018. <laughs> really? like, was I? Did I do some? Oh God! <laughs> Today was funny where I was like, "Don't fucking come then." Me and me <laughs> yeah. and Dave, me and Dave will just sit here in silence without the one thing we have in common: <laughs> being, being able to talk to you. Listen, guys, come on. <laughs> yeah, really. Sorry, no Matt today. Matt's in Chicago with his fam family. Sorry, we were late today. This week, I mean, I was gone. I had to go home to. Mechanicsburg. Mm. That must anyway. be nice. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Do you go home a lot? I don't. It was every few months. Now mm. that I, now that I'm down Texas way, yeah, I don't get home very often. But it's all right. Every time I go home, did the podcast start? Yeah. This oh, is it. okay. <laughs> this is it. You're gonna love it. We just. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me put on my glasses. Come on. <laughs> How many times have I seen that this weekend? Five times. He keeps I've run doing out of fake laughs. Oh, I keep doing it. Wow, Shane, you got a piece. Dave, not so oh, much. Oh, X-ray vision. You can see my tiny penis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. LaMare has all, an innie. To the fans, I have to say, Shane, I've been waiting to do this podcast, and I always wanted to do a podcast out of Crate and Barrel. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> you can tell everything in this room was either bought online or by somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, I got it furnished, and this is clearly an Airbnb. It was clearly, <laughs> clearly an Airbnb. This is, this is like, <laughs> yes, I did move into. I mean, an I, I know your love of modern art. That's yeah, why yeah, uh, yeah. that's big. <laughs> anyway, yeah. dude, great seeing you, man. It's good to see you. I'm yes. happy to see you. When do you head back? Um, I'm going from uh, I'm playing the Mothership. Awesome weekend so far. Great times, and then uh, I'm heading uh, west coast to Brea. Uh, the Brea Improv. Oh, nice. And uh, my special's coming out, I guess, on Tuesday. Tuesday, right? Yeah. yeah uh, Hot Cross Bonds on Netflix. Can't wait to see it. It's really good. Dude. Yeah, I'm sure. It was there, actually, when we yeah, shot yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I opened it. It was. Yeah, I bet it's good. Awesome. It's like up there with uh, Captain the other thing I did. Skanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> my body of work. The two other things. It fits right in. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's great, man. Nice. Yeah, I'll tell you, the worst part is going back out on the road after the special and like how much material you have that's not on the special, the new material, and yeah. you're working on it as you're, you know, it's like, whatever, poor us, but that's really the job of it. Yeah. You know? It's sometimes, very embarrassing. Sometimes <laughs> yeah, that's a good it. word for it. Yeah. It's really humiliating to go out there. I know you guys there. were excited. Now you're going to see <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Get ready. Here comes some shit I didn't do last time because yeah. it sucked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying this to work the, on it. Sometimes Say he'll be on the stage. B team. Yeah. <laughs> he'll be on stage and he'll go, uh, he'll do a joke and go, it's called New Jokes, Ian. Try it. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I've been there. I, I mean, did. You, now you don't, you <laughs> cocksucker. Yeah, I do. I go new every set, you fucking dick. Well, you know, it's like... Uh, and then he does a joke from five years ago. I'm like, you asshole. Well, but the, the times have changed, so the joke has a new meaning. All right, there you go. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> so how do you like living out here, buddy? I like it. I, I've Yeah, whenever it feels, it feels good flying back here than better to me than it did flying to New York. But do you ever miss Mechanicsburg? Yeah, for sure. You know, like, I don't know, burning a book in front of a closed factory or... <laughs> <laughs> running into a friend from high school <laughs> what happened buddy <laughs> yeah i do miss mechanics break. when we were on bert's tour and we played was it scranton scranton that you had two amazing shows like when i saw you at uh in queens at the forest hills yeah 
you crushed that show. Thank and you I, very I, much. I, I got to give it up to Bert because I think we're Bert and I like uh, you know I think he kind of likes the challenge, but that was yeah. quite a challenge. I mean, you rocked that house. It was a uh, uh, outdoor venue, yeah, right? Forest Hills was awesome. And then in Scranton, that was like you could have like run for mayor that, after that show. Yeah, I don't think they knew I was on the show, so that really <laughs> yeah it was a big surprise. Yeah, for and it was in you know. And then you uh, turn the water back on in the town. <laughs> 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 what can't this guy do? <laughs> God, I, hate, I fucking hate Ian, though. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. I really, I mean. You love me. I do love you. You, you know I love you. me. Ian is, I'll tell you one thing. Ian is a self-starter. This guy is really good, man. He's always plugging at it, pushing it. And, uh, you know, you were crushing it this weekend, buddy. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, that's why I had that 5 o'clock show. Suck this is. <laughs> no, that's okay. This is nice so far. Well, Ian has a special coming out, too, right? Oh, yeah. Do you yeah, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah, April 21st. Damn. Ian Finance, wild, happy, and free. Oh, man. I knew I was going to fucking YouTube.com slash B and Ian pod. Yes, man. Yeah, It'll yeah, be yeah. great, I'm, I'm excited, sure. Man. Ian loves a good promotion. Am I right? <laughs> What's going to be the launch party like for that? Uh, nothing. Just you and your cat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. Me and my cat. Just, just clicking, refreshing, <laughs> yeah, seeing yeah, the views, yeah, yeah. seeing yeah. the comments. Yeah. Oh, Please God. be nice. Please be nice. <laughs> For me, I'm going to just put a plastic bag over my head. <laughs> <laughs> Stick your head in an oven. Yeah, well, Dude, you, you know what's cool? In his special, in the outro, I'm in it. And then in the oh. outro of my special, he's in it. Isn't that nice? Oh, that? That's what that deserved. Some awkward silence. I think, isn't that nice? <laughs> You are. Did we ever talk about the time we were in? I think it was Pittsburgh where I kept, I kept, he kept telling the sound guy, he's like, This is the music I want to come out to. And it was yeah. like some hardcore band. And then I just kept making him play It's Raining Men. Uh, <laughs> and he fucking didn't know it was me. Wow. He got off stage every show and he was like, The sound guy's fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> he got like really it bad. Was, it was a real big fish sellout. <laughs> and then I'd go out and be like, it's raining. I'd be like, this fucking asshole. And I would start I every set I, with like, God damn. Dorm it in the green room. And I was like, yo, what the fuck is up with this sound guy, man? And you're like, you should go talk to him. And I did. And then he goes, and then. You talk to him. Then the next night he did it again. Uh -huh. And you were like, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That Pittsburgh improv, I have so many good memories there. It's a I, great place. I, I love that place. And I split a weekend with John Lovitz. <laughs> he did the early shows and I did the late shows. And the first show, he spent an hour afterwards striking his piano to get the right spot for the next night. <laughs> and they made everyone waiting to see me wait out in line in the cold. <laughs> and I'm like, this is fun. Well, the what maestro the was in there. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I was like, I'm going in the green room. I'm saying something. This is rude. And I walk in. And I'm going to be like, hey, man, what what the fuck? And he walks in, he goes, hello. And I go, oh, I can't stay back. Yeah, you're here. the best. I go, John, hey, I'm Ian. And he goes, hello. I go, I'm a big fan. He goes, big fan? I thought you said your name was Ian. And I was like, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he goes, so I heard you're bisexual. Does that mean you buy sex? And I go, yeah, and it's turned me into a debt sexual. And he goes, that's good. <laughs> like, yes, that's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> that's good. How do you know you're bi? That's getting around, huh? It's probably the fucking sound guy. <laughs> it's probably, yeah, we got some queer coming in this weekend. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We got some New York I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> Yes. I think he watched my set because I was running my hour. Though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, thank God for that. That place is great. I love that spot. Shout yeah. out Garrett. That all was a fun clubs, weekend we did. All these yeah, clubs are like a blur. Like yeah. I, when you said Pittsburgh and probably I'm going to be there. It's a great club, but I know it's like that's the one with the train in front of it, yes. right? It's got like a little rusted choo-choo. Oh, front. yeah. that yeah. It's got that huge crane. We climbed on it. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. That's how I know the club. Like, how I told far you are they from to... coffee or CVS? I don't even remember. Everything else is a it's blur actually in, in a shitty mind. part of town. There's yeah. like a across the railroad tracks. It's just a shithole. I thought it was like it's near a um, uh, a park, like one of those scary kind of um, uh, lifetime movie parks where people disappear, like a big bar. <laughs> and then then it's like along like what it used to be, I guess, like a, a barge, riverboat. Yeah, yeah, everything yeah. used to have yes. a real meaning, you know, yeah, like a real yeah. purpose. Yeah, now none of it does. Now it's just... It's a, not really walkable. Well, that's... Isn't that happening in Austin? There's like a serial killer on the loose? Yeah, but he's only killing... Gays. No, he's yeah. killing straight hot guys. 
He's going straight hockey. Well, then I'm fucked. Yeah, you are. You better watch out. Buddy. <laughs> well, I'm on the list. Yeah, you better watch out. No, heard- who's he killing? Isn't he killing homeless guys or something? No, I heard he's killing like um, finance type guys. So he's probably meeting them. Finance type guys. <laughs> That's I got it. You don't I have got to it. laugh. You it. don't have to laugh. <laughs> but we we were talking about it in the cab. I'm talking to him, and I asked the cab driver. I go, "Do you know anything about this serial killer?" And he's like, "What?" Yeah, no one. Yeah, it was him. <laughs> yeah. What? What? No, I, I don't know. A thing. What? <laughs> I could show you some things. Uh, yeah, I heard about it. I'm, I'm not worried about it. And if he is killing homeless guys, the whole city's gonna turn a blind eye. That's our Batman. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna wow. let that guy yeah. commit some vigilante justice holy shit they're gonna find evidence just like fucking kicking in the river <laughs> uh, didn't find anything yeah everyone will ignore that issue yeah so now that you live here do you get to enjoy 6th street I assume you do I don't I don't love it <laughs> I, I, I try to avoid it honestly it's yeah. a it's a it's a weird scene down there. I yeah. think, uh, you know, the fact that like, <laughs> you know, the, the, it's that the club has that incredible security, you know, it's got like rings yeah. of steel there, you know, it's like, <laughs> like, it's like an airport, it's like a fort, you yeah. know, it's a lot of different things. And then it's just all of that craziness just in chaos. front of it. Those guys must be like, you know, like, you know, these guys are trained, you know, trained up, they're professionals. They're looking at that, like, I wish I could, you know, jump in on it. Yeah, that's a mess. That's Fallujah. <laughs> that's yeah, giving those guys. guys probably fucking flashbacks it was so out. funny last night some or no the night before troy conrad's was there you know yeah and he's like taking pictures he's like i want to get um you know dave i want to do a portrait in the street like in the middle of sixth street right mm. and uh they were dave is like in the street one of the security guys like wasn't watching him and he goes on a full-on sprint and dave he was like i'm here <laughs> like, there was like nothing even going on they were just like so military mode you gotta when be I, ready out there. when i used to do that in sonic show and i never bring it up but this oh, yeah. is like a good example of like yeah. we never had security like that we were our own security mm-hmm. but it's funny in this situation where there's like security on security and like you know you know code words and like safe spaces and yeah. all that kind of stuff that these guys like when i saw them wanding and putting uh, the phones in the bag i'm pro phone in the bag i, totally. I was like especially after last night yeah i'm like <laughs> you know what i'm like that is the coolest like honestly if that like i know not every club can do it but like when a club does that i think the shows are way better, way better. they're yeah. just better Top everyone's you know? listening yeah everyone's listening and it's just uh you as the comic go like you know what this is where i can do you know the joke that i i know is not that great yeah or is not that appropriate so and it's nice for them because when was the last time you just like sat and enjoyed without being like yeah uh, uh or like looking at, and it's f- always funny to see at the cellar when people walk out they're like what fucking time is it it's like they're walking <laughs> yeah, to yeah, a yeah. different universe yeah because they, they get hit with some long ass shows oh yeah 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 they well, are they th- that's another thing you see is like late shows now like even one starting at 10 o'clock it's almost too late for people like mm. it's it's really like people are not used to staying out late you know uh maybe it's from you know what happened the yeah lockdowns and everything but mm. still you know i don't know when that's going to snap back where people get back on that kind of like late night thing but well it's because it hurts like comedy closed and stuff oh yeah that's late. that's yeah true. everything closes late dude there's like two diners left in new york city it sucks well, you should go to the place here in town when you're downtown. The uh, burger, what is it called? Oh, Burger Bar. It's That's great. Been our spot. Really? Yeah. yeah, you'd like it, man. Yeah, yeah I awesome. like burgers. Good smash. And burgers. it's open till about two. I like yeah. uh, Casino El Camino. Oh, you really? Did that. You did that on? Yeah. Oh, uh, is that still Insomniac. going? Insomniac. Yeah. Oh wow. It's yeah. across. It's across from yeah, the Yeah, we ate. That's a legend. That's yeah, a legend that place course. rules. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's one like of the few a, places on Sixth Street that doesn't. They have great food here. It's this like a metal bar food. too, right? Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, you go on the first couple of times I was there, I was like, damn, these bartenders fucking hate me. No. Yeah, they're yeah, they're like Why? metal guys. Yeah, but Matt Hart. I'm like, I get a beer. About, like, here's your beer. That's the thing about the like, hardcore right. community, man. Now they're it's, cool. It's accepting. I have stopped with the hardcore shit. <laughs> I don't know why it bothers like me. It's called oh. I Hate God. <laughs> They're very accepting. <laughs> that's, the, that's what bothers me about all the metal stuff is they are. They're all like hardcore liberals. Uh-uh. Oh, really? There's some Bro, good guys in there? The bands? There's some good guys? They're fucking, they're on our team. Nice. The bands, they fucking <laughs> love it, dude. You're just in a van with your boys on the road just yeah. making jokes. They're allowed to make jokes? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. But then, but then, like, on a podcast, they're like, well, I'll be quiet while you say these things. But they're the best. They're the nicest. It's fun. Yeah. It's all, I went on tour with a band. Uh, after I taped my special, I just went on the tour bus for, like, five <laughs> dates. This band, Angel Dust, they're the fucking best. Why don't you go home? 
<laughs> just go lay down. Stop this bullshit. I He's can't. Like, I can't. God. I got to stay moving. What are you chasing? Traveling man. Traveling. Fun. It was fun. But it was great. The last show was in, in uh, Philly and Brooklyn. It was awesome. Have you ever? Would you ever do that? Like go on a tour bus? With fucking them? zero shot. Really? You've no. never done a bus tour yet? No, I would go on a tour bus for comedy for yeah. my own, but I'm yeah. not going on. I'm not getting done with my tour and get being like. I didn't do. Can I hop up. on the bus with you guys? I no, just to hang out. I'm friends with the band. So I know. That's, like I understand the scenario. Time. That sounds crazy to me. It was. You wouldn't go do something relaxing. Relaxing? Yeah. With all yes, that's what I would like to do. Not go on a tour bus with a metal band. So they're not metal. They're like, uh, what's going on? No, here? you're not getting it. Don't you need any alone time? And the answer is no. When he I likes sleep. being around people. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to stage Curled dive on a, and on a bunk in a, stuff. in a bus with other men. I guess sobriety helps that. Yeah. So you're not as burnt out. I'd be fucking dead. That's how, the the, how are the hangovers? Terrible. Really? Yeah. Well, what do you drink? Uh, just beer, but I drink oh, a lot that's of That's weird. I yeah. thought you were a shot guy. No, no, I don't do any shots. Not at all. Try not to. Yeah. Mm. What that's about where when I people get... try to get you to drink after shows? <laughs> yeah, I drink. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not really a tough one. I go, no, I can't tonight, and they go, come on. I go, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's hard, just being a beer a beer guy. Yeah, you know, it takes forever. How many? How many can you do? What do you do? I mean, on a bad day. Yeah. Thirty. You're like Alice Cooper. That was his thing. He goes yeah. like. I remember him in full makeup and he's talking about how he quit drinking, you know, which is not a really good, like, you know, <laughs> kids, you got to give this up. He was trying to be a good guy. And he's like, you know, it was just beer, man. Like start the day with, you know, like a, a wake up bud. And then, you know, it was like the day would drip on and, you know, whatever on the tour bus. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and then when did the heroin show up? Or he's like, <laughs> yeah. no, just beer all day. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you're kind of like a you know a dad, I guess. Yeah, you, know? yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't just know. A, you sound like a regular guy. Yeah, yeah. that's weird. <laughs> if you ever go to a, a meeting or something like that, they don't want to hear that story. You know, beers. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd be like, oh yeah, what year is this, dude? Yeah, beers. Fifteen beers on Saturday. What happened? Oh. Barbecue about, didn't. Work. Not even heavy beers, just Bud Light. All just day. light beers. No, not never all day because yeah. I was I usually have shows at night, yeah, so that's cool. I don't drink before shows. Yeah, no, that's so it's, that's smart. But once yeah. you're drinking, can you stop? Yeah. Oh, that's. I wish I had that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Most of the time, I say, I go. What the fuck? I gotta go home. Whoa. Yeah. Well, these yeah. towns are good for that, man, because it's a early last call, like one thirty yeah. in New York. You know, it goes on. Forever. New York is where you really. New run York, Chicago, those towns, Vegas. Dude, New York never ends. That's New York the thing. doesn't. That's not sucks. true. Yes, New York it, is way not what it used to yeah, be. Yeah, but you can go to a fucking deli and get beers. Not so you until, can keep drinking all that, and then like, you gotta go. That's a, yeah, you're right. That's a problem. Yeah, it's a marathon. Yeah, yeah. That's not the problem in New York beer. That's for sure. No, I'm saying for yeah. alcoholics. You can... <laughs> yeah. If people were on beer there, it would be a great town. Yeah. <laughs> Utopia. You don't yeah, drink yeah, a beer yeah. and push someone on a subway track. That's not happening. Uh, <laughs> Shouldn't have had that Modelo. Yeah, Your Honor. <laughs> Socked a fucking Asian lady. Sorry about that. I had a tall boy yeah, before sorry. I got through the turnstile. I had too much, <laughs> much Michelob. I smeared <laughs> shit on an Asian woman's head. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Hey. And you don't smoke or anything? No. Good, buddy. I, uh, yeah. You're taking care of yourself. <laughs> Not really. I'm I saw trying. that basketball hoop by the pool. Yeah, I'm working <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah. You saw Go. that shot. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, yeah we're getting there. I want to hop in there and slam dunk so bad. Mm. Bro, I would. <laughs> ah, fuck, I forgot you're gay. <laughs> I would play it, but, you know. You're not my type. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> all right. If you were you, but also a mashup of La Mer, I'd be. If in. me and La Mer mashed up, it would be fucking need to be put down. Be that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be the most disgusting creature possible. <laughs> I've had you think. put La Mer's sweat on me. I've had. A, I've always had a thing for Black up. Slimer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what you would call it? Oh, yeah. Did you ever, did you ever wrestle in the pool, Dave? <laughs> what are you grooming me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. The student has become it's, the teacher. It's a reverse <laughs> grooming. Wrestle in a pool. Yeah. You got to wrestle in a pool. We got guys right now going through barbed wire across the river. You're talking about wrestling in the pool. <laughs> you never did like wrestling moves with your friends in the pool. Mm. That was the best. No, usually it was like a fun time till somebody actually shat the pool. And then that became the rest of the day. Who did it? What are we going to do now? You can't go back in for some reason. 
<laughs> I don't get the reasoning behind that. They they what? supposedly. I, I remember being in a hotel one time and the pool was closed and it was like no water in it. And they go, "What happened?" They go, "Someone had an accident. and We had to uh, actually, uh, you know, empty the pool." And that's like a big deal when they do that. And in fact, you with me in Phoenix, right? When there was the knife fight at the pool, yes. and they had to empty the pool as well. <laughs> yeah. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Like it was something happening yeah. in Phoenix. A, a guy got stabbed. No, but it was like a playoff too. It was like a playoff weekend, so there was a lot of tension, uh -huh. you know. And I guess two different, you know, something Races? happened. But oh. it was uh, the security guy asked the guys to leave the pool. I think that was part of it. They were like You're too loud or something. Well, this and is then conjecture he because. Cops showed up walking around with shotguns. Yes. And Dave texts me, he goes, there's something happening. Get downstairs. <laughs> so I go downstairs and then he turned into fucking Inspector Gadget. And these guys are like <laughs> going around with shotguns with flashlights. He's going, what happened? What happened? Yeah. I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> They're like, the guy may still be loose. And he's like going Yeah, they around. didn't know who did it. Were you smoking? They probably thought you were I was fucking, outside, yeah. I was like, you were undercover. Dude, one time. <laughs> but I remember coming down and the, and you open the uh, the elevator open. There's a guy with a shotgun right yeah. there. So they were trying to like cordon off the hotel. But that was oh, a, that wow. was another like in a town where you need pools. They're like the pool is closed because of a police yeah. action. You know. One time that we sucked. were in uh we did governors in Long Island and some guy pulled out a gun in the parking lot. Yeah. And we're like in the back. And there was like word that there was a gun and he almost up and he takes out his tactical flashlight and was like, don't worry, I'll take care of it. And like rush his head. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you I had to protect my merch. <laughs> <laughs> you had to save the merch with your tactical flashlight. That would be flashlight. a great way. And like you still have it in your hand like. Two for one. <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, one time we... we yeah, that's went, good. There's been some real action on some of these shows. Yeah. Well, one time we went and played laser tag in Ohio. Yeah. And a bunch of kids... A bunch Wait, of kids. you played laser tag? Yeah. yeah. I thought I was dying of cancer. So I figured... I'd, <laughs> you figured get so like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we go on a little. We go on adventures all the time. So we're playing laser tag and it was us... And like some parents against a bunch of kids, I had 33 kills and, uh, Gosh. yeah. And we're in a tunnel and he grabs you and goes, come with me. I'm a field medic. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why you never want to quit drinking. Cause these are the things you would do laser tag. Yeah. <laughs> I got a good laser tag story. I've told it before, but I want you to hear it. What uh, happened? we went, my family, we went to play laser tag. And when we're standing, you're standing in that like semicircle around the teenager that's giving you advice on the directions. <laughs> There was a lot of blue lights in there, or black lights, and uh, there was just jizz all over my dad's, the front of his jeans. No, oh, no, God. No. The front of his jeans no. was lit up like fucking you wouldn't believe. Wow. No. And my sister goes, my sister's like, oh, my God, Dad. And he wow. Goes, he goes, ah, God damn it. Nice. And then he proceeded to raise his hand and ask a question. He drew more. He didn't give a fuck at What'd all. What'd he ask? He was like, are the satellites worth three? <laughs> and also, can you guys see my chin? And I was fucking, I couldn't, that's the hardest I've ever laughed. Mm. I took a photo. I took a photo of his dick. <laughs> Do you yeah, have I'll it? find it. Do you have it? I took Lamera, a photo. Are you sure you're recording? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this Phil, is Phil, so fucking funny. Phil had it. He creamed his jeans. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm so glad my dad died early so I didn't have to see anything like I, that. I did actually, I think, has a sadder uh, thing. I think he... Uh, was pissing a little incontinent. Yeah. yeah, I think he had prostate cancer. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! But we made fun of him and said it was jizz. But he got over it. Did He's you check the news. back of everyone's right. coats? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now let's get back to the fun. Let's see this picture of your. Hold dad. on, I gotta find my dad. Wait, was this in, was this in Ben Salem? No, this is in Lancaster, the sports emporium. Oh, okay, because I they have mom, a laser tag in Amish country. I don't hold Carlo, with that. Carlo. My mom took me to. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Whoa! Hands in pockets. That looked Holy like the shit. that looked like the shoulder of your jacket the other night, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. That's a that's jizz, dude. That's not piss. That is not piss. Wow, dude. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> Usually, it's a father confronting the son about jerking off. <laughs> Carlisle Sports Emporium. My dad's been nutting on his own pants. We used to go. Good. We used to go up to Ben Salem for laser tag. I had a birthday party there once. Yeah. It was awesome. Laser tag rules. Yeah. It's so fun. At, well, when it's good. Yeah. Not at the shitty place. Did you ever have that toy at Kmart? The laser tag toy? And yeah. it's like you it you have to go up to your friend and be like, Bzz, No, Bzz. we had a we had a good one, dude. Did you? The gray pack with the red circle in the middle? No, I had a knockoff. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got it. My mom got it at like Caldor or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know. 
What's a good town for all that outdoor stuff too? Are you into? You know me. Shooting, anything like that. Shooting's fun. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, that's, we do that on the road a lot. I took Ian out. Ian yeah. is a great shot. Uh, not when I took. I him. love. Well, that was the first time. Yeah, yeah no, he's that. better now. Yeah. I took him. He took his. The ladies are teaching us how to do it. He fucking took his gun out of the holster while they're teaching us. That oh, it was a they, mistake. They, it like, was an honest I've never mistake. seen it. They swore. He's way better now. And yeah. He was like, oh, what? <laughs> I was like, I, I didn't. It was an accident. No, they were telling. They were fuck you. They were telling us uh, <laughs> what to do, and I thought we were supposed to shadow them. So yeah. I did what she did, and they were like, "Whoa, <laughs> yeah. idiot!" And I was like, "Boo, sorry." But I beat you in the time. That's shoot. I, I mean, what you're you, I have video your of secret it. fucking weird competitive thing there is, is psychotic. Very competitive. No, I wasn't racing anybody. I was just shooting. Oh. I was just trying to hit the fucking thing. I thought we were racing. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Chris and Tommy might be here. That I think um, Ian shoots at a junior high school little. I think <laughs> <laughs> he's that good. <laughs> no, but I, dude, you you got me there, and I had so much fun. And the next time I went back, I like I I really really enjoyed it. He's hey, gotten Tom. better. No, you're totally fine. You can come sit down, hang out. You don't have to. Just, all right. Are you just gonna wait in the foyer? <laughs> No, it's okay. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Um, yeah, there, there's a nice video of me from that day. Yeah. Uh, How about? Oh, dude. Tried so, to take a shot, and the clip just fell out <laughs> on camera. That was very embarrassing. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> but, <laughs> that was real police academy. <laughs> dude, we we went in Oklahoma and we're shooting, and the guy took a video, and I'm like, pow, 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 and he pans to tell, and he's just playing his recorder, <laughs> yeah. and then he put it in his holster. <laughs> you remember we were at that one place where, um, the and by the way, these guys are really professional. They're really cool. You know, everybody's thinking they're all freaks and nuts. They're not, and um, I know the guy who is like that, but. Uh, everyone we've been to have been like super professional, really like, you know, like uh, explaining and making sure it's yeah, safe. Yeah. But I remember we went to one and I was like, uh, there was a young guy behind the counter. And I'm like, who's that? He goes, that's my son. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait for this kid to go like, you know, dad, I got something to tell you. You know, I just want to dance. You know? <laughs> I don't want to run a tactical gun shop. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm really into cartoons, you know. <laughs> like, All right. Well. Give it a shot. But <laughs> <laughs> Take this 30 caliber, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Shooting guns does rule. It's really fun. I out, like here they, can... out here they're executing hogs, dude. Oh, they are? They every they, they literally like, why don't you come down to our ranch? We got to, they all have fucking machine guns. Dude, just, but they eat couple, it though. They just go out. I don't like, think they're eating. They're, they're killing so many. There's a couple no of buddies told me oh, they, they want to take me hog hunting. I told you. Yeah. Yeah, and they have ARs, and I'm like, yeah, Yo, night this is... vision and ARs, and they put a, like a net around the pigs and <laughs> execute them. Wow, it's <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> That's fucking nuts. No trial, no trial. <laughs> <laughs> Judge and jury execute. <laughs> wow. Water. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just. <laughs> A simple pig. I'd like to do the other, like, uh, you throw an axes, like that kind of thing. That's a I've big never thing. gone axes. You got to go to Vegas. Like, they have all of these, like, you know, don't have enough money to gamble, but still want to have fun yeah. kind of thing. So they have the smash rooms mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. But I've yeah, never like, done any of that. Smash you haven't rooms? done it? I've never done a it's smash When's the last time you were in Vegas? I, I was in Vegas in February. Yeah. What'd you think? I think it's like. I was really there for good. the Super Bowl. It was awesome. Oh, I yeah. It was a fun time. We were there for BattleBots. <laughs> yeah. Really? They had the yeah, BattleBot we arena there. We love BattleBots. Yeah. Yes. We talk about bots on here a lot. Dude, we were betting. I won 20 bucks from him. Yeah, we were watching. You got better bet on the wedge every he's, time. He's dude. such a, like, uh, like talk about competitive, like, you could just sit in the bleachers, but no, he had to go for the VIP area where they give you like some chips it's like being on an amtrak <laughs> train here's some chips and here's a little bottle of water you're a vip watching battle bots <laughs> oh and I you're an adult i forgot that you're an adult vip tickets <laughs> to battle bots <laughs> that's awesome you guys we were blast, we were dude. wooing like to try and be like good audience yeah. like yeah man and the older couple next to us i guess who lost a son in a battle bot <laughs> Thing. He was just, they were sitting there like, oh, Eddie would have loved this round. The spider got him. We're living his dream of coming to Vegas and seeing the big time. And like, everyone's looking at us like, how can you be this excited or something? Yeah. I was like, I thought it was like great. They, they, uh, 
<laughs> they've tried to make it more inclusive so there's like you know everybody's like before the bots go at it let's talk a little bit about climate change you know <laughs> yeah dude, we're taking me <laughs> to fight racism dude we're we're watching it and they have these guys come out and it's like scripted smack talk you know terrible though and so PG. Uh, one of the guys goes You've seen this guy on America's Got Talent, but in the BattleBot arena, it's America's Got No Talent. Yeah, he's trying <laughs> and to... you just hear him no. go, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we were too energetic. Slam! <laughs> in an yeah. arena of you quiet You have been children. served. <laughs> that would be cool to have your own BattleBot yeah, you, arena. You guys, yeah. I could fit in there. I could blend in at a BattleBots arena. Dude, you would have so The three of us so would fit fun. in nicely in there. And then the next week, I brought Yamanika. <laughs> oh. And that was awesome. <laughs> Her and I were whooping it up. That's fun. It was great. I mean, there's going to BattleBots and then going again. And that's the sign of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite BattleBot? Do you have a f particular favorite? Oh. or? Oh. Yeah, um, Overdrive. Overdrive. Who was the one we were just watching? The we watched one that was going crazy. Uh, it like fucking. When yeah, it, like, it was a little. It looked like a Roomba. It was yeah. just spinning yeah, yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that guy. He was and he's got the. He's got the, crazy. the thing that spins in the yeah. front. Yo, the little guys are the best. Yeah, they're pretty they're, good. Everybody thinks big guy and you yeah. gotta have an axe. No, no, no. The little yeah. guys fucking get them. I won forty bucks at the creek the other night betting battle bots. <laughs> And then I lost it on stage because I bet a guy rock, paper, scissor in the front row and I lost. <laughs> you are competitive. See? Yeah. I'm only competitive with sports and gambling. And comedy. You've said some nasty things to me. So have you. To me. Hurtful. Well, after. No, before. <laughs> Very much before. Very much before. Well, we see who won that battle. <laughs> As Ian heads back to his SRO in Shane's mansion. Dude, you know what's even sadder? <laughs> it's the second time I went to BattleBots. The host is Bill Dwyer from the original yeah. show. Your Bud's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Please, this could hurt somebody. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> call an ambulance. He just kills a BattleBot instead. <laughs> yeah. So he uh, he ended up, um, I don't know how we got in touch. You knew him or whatever. Yeah, I know him from the yeah, from said the hi. Road. So we came to the club. We hung out. And he was like, please, please, BattleBots. Uh, next Saturday, be a guest of mine. I'm like, oh my God, we're gonna get. And he's like, I could only get you VIP. Or I could only get you general mission. I'm like, oh, whatever. General mission. But he's like, bots. I got you a tour. You can meet the bots after. You can meet the bots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so me and Yamanika are walking around taking pictures with the battle. That's bots. fucking awesome. It was great. Was it scary being next to such a powerful being. Yamanika. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tom, wait, Tommy. Sit down. Join. There's a mic right here. This yeah. Is why are you just sitting in the kitchen Tommy Pope, alone? Everybody. Yeah, you they, do. Not at all. Dude, we're talking about battle bots. What fucking vibe is there? Yo, um, <laughs> the uh, you, you know, don't what downplay the bots, right? Oh, now. I didn't tell you. Yeah. They had when we went back. One of the bots was this thing called slot machine, yeah. and it was a legitimate large slot machine. <laughs> they got. Oh, out. that's what I like wanted this. to see. Yeah, and it was just there to see it get destroyed. <laughs> and it was this dumb, dumpy thing. It was a stumble bump. Yeah, and they were like, here comes Slot Machine. Yeah, he's a local. Watch <laughs> out. <laughs> Lamera, this is big, dude. Don't fuck up the pod. <clears throat> Lamera, if you fuck up the pod, now. I won't buy you another ticket to Ghostbusters. <laughs> I wasn't. We saw it twice. Wait, hold on. Tom, Tom, newest member of Austin. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Move down. Welcome to Tommy. Welcome to town. You look good. This is a nice. Yeah. Oh, look Bumping. at that. <laughs> now I have to pay Comedy Central or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jeff to Ross town, just made five bucks. He did. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Jeff is smiling somewhere. Yes. You can buy um, another sandwich. Well, that's cool. We were talking about Philly at the Green Room. That's where oh, our nice. man's coming yeah, in. Yeah, all from. the Philly guys are down here. Mm -hmm. Philly is another great town for food. I mean, yeah. I mean honestly, it's just so good. Until Jim Steaks caught on fire. Mm. Fuck Jim's. Fuck you. What do you like? Yeah, I'm not going to get into a cheesesteak conversation. I just sat down. Why not? <laughs> well, well, you kind of opened it with fuck them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck well, them. No, I don't have any opinions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to ruin the vibe. We're not talking about <laughs> yeah, this. <sorry>. You fucking <laughs> yeah, Dude, you're the first people I spoke to today. It's a little. Yeah, you know? it's always hard. Dude. Yeah. It's a, it, doing a podcast first thing is crazy. Are nuts, Early, it's fucking 3 p.m. Yeah, well, well, you, you would drink. have done three podcasts by now. Oh, right? I did one this morning. Yes. Did you really? Did you? Yeah, I went to Duncan's house. Nice. He rules. Yeah, it was great. We had breakfast. 
Yeah, no one ever. I think the farm community community hasn't caught on to the podcast. They're like the early milkin, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any pod before six is like tough. Why I, five six? Yeah, you got to get like you got to get active. The worst is we've all real ass podcast. Get there at eleven a.m. That's like, you fucking gotta, ridiculous. Oh, from yeah, Queens, no. it takes like an hour and a half to get there. Oh, dude, can I can't stop crying. I, being... I used to do real radio. All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> four thirty. I had to do it like twice. <laughs> <laughs> you with some guy who was doing bong hits all night, driving you from the club. Like, I think this is the office. I don't know. I've only been here one time. <laughs> the last one I did was uh, it was one of those that was like be there at six a.m. And I get there, and they're not in studio. They're zooming in from their house. How great is Shut that? Oh yeah, I couldn't believe. I've been. It. I've done. Some I was of like, those. I'm never doing this again. How about the one where it's a, it's like a morning zoo? One guy is still going in. The other guy had a meltdown, and now he's living in Seattle somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, hey, and his questions are also not relevant. The other guy's like, Dave, you look like you blah blah, and the other guy's like. So, uh, do you ever watch eagles flying over a lake? No, no, we're not in Seattle. Yeah, how about the ships in the harbors. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. you know, Dave doesn't like eagles. He's more of a parrot man. I do love a good parrot story. Do you have a parrot here? I wish you should get a parrot. It would it would work here. Parrot would be nice. Mm, this yeah. is my some, idea. I want to get bird. seven parrots, like a Supreme Court of parrots, because <laughs> they can wear those little robes pretty easy. It's just like whatever they come up, that's what we like. Oh, okay, well they decided. <laughs> you did your yeah, your nay. <laughs> I mean, does someone smell a million hits on TikTok? I do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, seriously. <laughs> come What's on, that? you and parrots. seven parrots. It would be, it would be <laughs> incredible. You talking to seven parrots? No, you. you All right, you so argue your case. To them, you yeah. have two people arguing a case, and then they they do their parrot talk, <laughs> and then it's like, oh uh, well, the decision. Then they have somebody like a real person read the decision. Yeah. It's like it all in legalese, you know. <laughs> you gotta bring bring an expert in and let have them harmonize the other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then they take a break to look in the mirror. <laughs> they love looking at themselves, these parents. They have, a, they have extra security in a bailiff when a cat is a witness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cat does. Hold what on. Are. What? I just sold that parrot idea. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. I don't want to play that. <laughs> wow, this is an awesome podcast. Dave, it's me, Hollywood. <laughs> we want you on a plane Listen, immediately. Mr. Bagels. <laughs> but Mr. Bagels. <laughs> Dave, it's Hollywood here. <laughs> You've got a great idea. You've wow. got gold. <laughs> What's Next the stop, Hulu. <laughs> I don't know. What's the name of that parrot you watch? What? The parrot? Oh, um, you watch a parrot? Ki uh, Kiwi the parrot. Kiwi. He's the best. Yeah. Kiwi the parrot. Yeah. He says five things, but they're also inspirational. Like, uh, hey, want a treat, treat? And I'm like, he should be an agent. He's so like positive. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. A lot of us spend our lives wishing we had more time. The question is, time for what? You know, if time was unlimited, how would you use it? The best way to squeeze that special beating off, think of all the extra time you'd have whacking off for eternity. The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know what's important to you and make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it. Personal endorsement, I love it. We keep saying we're going to do it. I need to do it. This is better help. Yeah, it's great. It's our boys. You get online, they, you know, they'll fucking help you out. They'll fi yeah. Uh, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. That rules. What yeah, do you think Flipping of that? through the cards. Nice. nice. Yeah, you, we're going to need to change. Yeah. Pay. I'm going to tell the guy too much. I'm going to go, you know what? You've got a bad attitude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You I'm need gonna, to be put down. I'm going to regret what I told you. should set up like a Tinder style, yeah. like swiping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like a girlfriend where you've you've exposed, you've told her too much about your life. And now whenever you look at her, you have shame. <laughs> and so you go, something's wrong with you, not uh, me. <clears throat> And or every gonna, time you get in a fight, they bring up that thing you said in confidence. Oh, of course. <laughs> Guys, learn how to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash MSSP today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash MSSP. How about that?
Now let's get back to the show that Chris is not on. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, this is, Wait, you got one ad? You're in a t- No, I got three. Okay. Guys, you know I love Lucy. <laughs> Lucy is made for your nicotine oh. routine and delivered straight to your door. Oh. It's 100% nicotine and always tobacco free. You can choose your <laughs> your preferred form, pouches, breakers, or gum, and you can choose your strength from two milligram to twelve milligrams. Damn, twelve is pretty Chill. intense. Flavors include mint, apple ice, espresso, mango, and more. Save yourself from the weekly gas station stop and sign up for a monthly subscription, which saves you fifteen percent. No commitment. Cancel any time. I'll tell you what, Lucy's got a good thing going with that gas station stop argument. Yeah, having them yeah. delivered straight to you. Yeah, over yeah. that. Yeah, regular stock. Personal endorsement. I'll tell you what, Chris. Yeah, I like mango. That's yeah, what, that's really? what I like. I always yeah. thought you were a citrus guy. I am a citrus guy. I don't think they really have citrus. Mango is, oh, you know, shit. fucking citrus flavor. <laughs> <laughs> this product, fruity? yeah, it's a little fruity. You know, I like a little. Fruity. Let's go! I found fruity it. Shit in my mouth. What? Lucy? Security getting tortured. Oh, oh god! All right, that product. The product <laughs> that sets Lucy apart is Lucy Breakers. It's nicotine pouches, but with a tiny capsule inside. The capsule contains liquid flavor that saturates the pouch before it's even in use. Break it with your teeth and boom, instant nicotine release when you need it. That sounds pretty good. It actually is nice. Dude, they electrocute is nuts. All right, hold on a second. (laughs) Let's level up your nicotine routine with Lucy. Go to lucy.co slash drenched and use promo code drenched to get 20% off your first order. Lucy (laughs) orders free shipping and has a 30-day refund policy if you change your mind. Lucy.co and use code drenched to get 20% off and always free shipping. And here comes the fine print, as if that was not fucking fine enough. Lucy products are only for adults legal age, and every order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. You hear that, Chris, with your fucking yeah, fruity yeah. vapes? Yeah. Why don't you get to Lucy? You're going to look. That thing has lights on it. What are you fucking? Yeah, it gives me a percentage of how much juice. And That's kind of embarrassing, that. isn't it? It's, it's pretty it humiliating, yeah. I'm and you do, you do it on planes, which is going to get you kicked off when you're drunk. Have you ever been a... a Why don't you get a Lucy... A breaker. It's perfect for the airplane. I should. I do want to switch to yes. a, a Lucy. Lucy's type situation. A breaker sounds great. Yes. Any, Thank you, Chris. Now let's get back to the show. <laughs> Chris, turn into David Tell. You see that bird where uh, his owner destroyed the cage and he started bugging out? He's going, ah, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was so happy that the, 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 he was out of his cage. Oh, wow. He just starts like stomping on the bird. He's like, having fun. Ah, fuck you, it. That's you like a, birds. That's a Tommy it. parrot. Yeah. Dude, Tommy was, likes birds. Really? Yeah, he's a bird guy. You're a bird guy? I'm a bird guy. Do you know that local bird here? It's called like a crackle or something. It goes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I heard that in the trees. It's like some kind of weird crowish. Yeah, kind of like I talked to a beautiful night. crow. I liked it. It made me feel nice. I'm a crow guy. I like crows. Yeah, crows are I'm sick. on the record. I love crows. Yeah. I, I'm excited about getting crow's feet. What? <laughs> Those things what on your eyes? Stupid things. Oh. Jesus Christ. Why is that stupid? You know what else is good? Red pandas. Red what pandas are, are sick. You don't know red pandas? Uh-uh. They're the littler ones, right? Yeah, they're great. And what country are they from again? China. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's got I think so. Mongolia. Or oh. India? Yeah, I'm not really a big animal guy. I see where guy. the red pandas Usually are. These parrots and dogs. Yeah, you are. Well, You're I like sending me and animal dogs. shit all the time. Well, you know what? I will send a good... Um, you know, we were watching the whole thing of the uh, the monkeys at the temple, you know, and how they, they rumble with each other. I think yeah. that's cool. Yeah, oh, and I, also, I guess yeah. growing up in you know in the states here, it's kind of boring our animals. You know, like if you lived in let's say like uh, New Guinea or something, there's yeah. more things to think about. Well, he put me on to monkeys riding dogs. That really is great. Yeah, I've, just, I've seen that live, dude. Yeah, I bet you have because that's like a that's Harris a Pennsylvania Harrisburg? thing. Yeah. yeah, no way, really. That's right. Yeah. I got to see behind the curtain too. I got to you. I got to watch the guy. So they're at the Harrisburg Senators. Yeah, dude, it's a big deal. The, See, if, I didn't make it up. If Monkey Rodeo comes to town, like it's like we're getting. Shut I the think fuck they're shutting up. it down. Though. Monkey Rodeo is. I'll so fly fun. in for it, bro. You get drunk, you watch monkeys ride dogs, <laughs> and then I saw. You've I saw, seen the behind the scenes. I saw behind the scenes, like when they weigh the monkeys to see if they're within weight to no, ride I a saw dog. Them, uh, <laughs> I saw them, the the rodeo the handler. Oh, that guy! I saw him behind there. He was feeding them strawberry pop tarts, and the dogs were all sitting down. The monkeys were all. <laughs> and he would break off uh, strawberry pop tarts for all the monkeys and dude, dogs. Dude, that's like giving cocaine Post-game. to soldiers. Yeah, they were, <laughs> get them all wired fired up. Fired them up, dude. Those things fly. 
It's so cool. They go so fast. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but don't. Border collies. <laughs> they're so fast. Do you think the, the dogs are afraid of the monkeys or are they friends? No, they're buddies. Yeah. They, all they both have dogs. tails. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what are you, stupid? <laughs> 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 yeah, Monkey Rodeo is awesome. So that's cool. You can actually say that you've seen. Have you ever been to a like the whole generation that's seen an actual live circus? That's also disappearing. I've seen a live circus. Yeah, I've, I've seen. seen I've seen them come through. Uh, you know, they used to come through the tunnel on the elephants. They would bring them in there now. Can't, oh wow! Can't. That's where the homeless live now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my house. <laughs> Wait, you would you? They That's would shut they the tunnel down and they would bring the elephants through in a truck. Or no, because the train would would stop outside in New York. Ringling Brothers. And they would bring them in and everybody would go down with their kids. It's like late at night. And they would take pictures of the elephants walking into the city. And then they would walk over to, I guess, uh, Madison Square Garden, you know. That's And so they would cool. sell it out. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you big elephant. That was like uh, that was when you had animals in circus. They don't do That's that. That's how I'm going, back. I'm going back to New York. I'm going to I'm going to walk, I'm gonna walk I'm through the tunnel. Through. <laughs> Dude, I'll have Chris on my back like the monkey on a dog. <laughs> But they couldn't do it now with the surge pricing. I mean, it would cost so much more for the elephants to come. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's definitely like something that you won't see again. You know, not yeah. in, not in this country. That's, sure. They still do donkey sex and stuff like that in like Mexico. Wow. Wow. Yeah, live mule shows. That I think is uh, like an urban myth. That's a myth. They don't oh, really do that. I always nah, heard there was a myth, but then I you hear I've heard people say they've seen it. Yeah, like, yeah, but that's it's underground. They're shows. lying. You sure? Dude. I've seen it on the internet. What's yeah, but the... it's you've seen donkeys fuck on the internet. <laughs> Who's the opener? You ever seen the video of the dude dies? <laughs> yeah, Who's the hairs? opener? Huh? <laughs> For the Who's donkey the fuck jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some horse There's kills one a black dude. Guy. It's online. Oh, Mr. Hands. Is yeah, it, Mr. Hands. You know what's that's fucking different. Hands. Mr. Yeah. Hands, that's that's homemade. That's amateur. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, no, dude, the, that's like the backyard wrestling. Of, yeah. the I only want to have sex if I can have a spotter. Yeah. You know the noise he makes? It's <laughs> out. He goes, humble. Yeah. <laughs> I used to when that's I worked in a, when I worked in a restaurant, <laughs> at the end of the night, we'd be cleaning up and I'd be like, hey, I, I'm gonna put on some music. They'd be like, all right. And I'd put that video on really? and it would be Mr. Hands over the stereo. <laughs> Riley, <laughs> yeah. Me and Ian have a one of the hardest I've ever laughed on an airplane. I sent him this video. We gotta find the video, dude. Find the video, Ian. This video has alienated me from so many no people. No one thinks it's funny. Nobody thinks it's funny, Dave. You'll we'll see. What are we talking about now? Uh, <laughs> Cockfights. Cockfights. No, this. I don't know what the fucking setup is. <laughs> Here, show Dave. See if you think this is funny. Here, put the mu put the mic up to the. <laughs> What is it? I know this one. <laughs> and the guy fell down? Oh, he ricocheted? <laughs> he ricocheted and killed the guy? Oh. No, the guinea pig doesn't die. He just... <laughs> oh, he shoots it into the guy's ass? <laughs> You know what's really great? We're watching stuff on your phone. You got a big screen TV up here. Like, what is it, dude? Oh, my God. Oh, oh my that's God. only for real company when they come over. You guys are the trash men. <laughs> you got an iPhone. Was he on the toilet? Yeah. yeah. The, kid, the kid's face. Dude. The so kid is fucking unhinged. Dude, that dude, is that's happening taking to me. Shit. He just like, here's a. Here's I'm going to shoot a guinea pig with a fucking <laughs> rifle while my dad's taking a shit. <laughs> but why was CCR playing? He <laughs> fears nothing. Wait, so he had, he was, he was going to actual bathroom? Yeah, but he was filming. Oh. Yeah. So this is something's. I don't know what's going on. I don't believe Maybe it unless it's was... on the ridiculousness. Yeah, so. true. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Rob Deerdick watching that? Yeah, like, oh. Let's watch this it again. This shit's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. That was whack. Oh, shit. <laughs> Shot a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's like little kid dumb stuff that you can't think ahead of. Yeah. Like, I shot myself in the foot with a BB gun. Because I was like, you just wanted to feel. To get out of yeah, the I wonder what this will feel like. Get out. get out of the draft. <laughs> get out of the Boy Scouts. <laughs> the, the laser tag army. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling Samoa's issue, yeah. fuck face. Yeah, the like, kids do. You ever do anything bad to an animal? To an animal? Yeah, when you were a kid, you ever like, Lemaire squeezed a frog to death. <laughs> Shut oh, the shit. fuck up. Is you that, did? 
Was that like you uh, Jesus, Jesus Lenny? Flock? Well, whatever makes you come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, we, we used to chase each other with like nail guns and stuff like that. Like, yeah. We didn't have all this cool I did that. stuff yeah. that they have. Now, you know? Yeah. Shooting each other with a To an gun. animal. I don't know. We, we we had a series of fish that constantly kept dying. And uh, then we would feed. Like, there used to be a bar in New York City where they had a snapping turtle. And you could buy fish. Ooh. And you would put it into his tank. And you would <laughs> be able to watch him eat the fish. And I was always like, you know, this is like cruel yet. I mean. He's got to eat this thing. This, yeah. And it was like a smelly, filthy tank. And then I guess like something happened and there were other turtles in there. But I remember looking at and I, I was drunk, but uh, a headless turtle where I guess the other turtles like this is my hang. I'm not sharing the limelight. And he bit his head off. So, you know, drunks looking at that. So, That'll oh, fuck man, you up. I wish I missed all that. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine getting pussy and you're about to close the deal. And you're like, that fucking turtle doesn't have a head. <laughs> But that's a cool thing. You could buy the, the fish and throw them in the other thing. That was yeah. like the fun of the night. Mm. Uh, yeah, I've seen the videos of snapping turtles doing that. And I don't they're like nuts. It. I don't like, like watching that. We used to have a really fair fucked up. in grade school, and this kid, Kevin, took a, a live goldfish. You buy him in a bag if you like. You won like a yeah. ring toss thing. And he swallowed it, <laughs> threw up, came back out, put it in the bag, and it was like... Just still alive. What about and the that ferret? kid's name was Steve O. <laughs> Didn't you say uh, ferret? Fa- no, fair. Like a little no, fucking. Did, but we had a ferret. I was like, <laughs> when's the ferret coming? <laughs> it went up his ass, goldfish in the tank. Oh, that's something you could do here. You could get like a wall fish and oh, like a be gigantic sick. sea. Oh, yeah. And then go on a quick couple of weeks, come back. <laughs> yeah. To yeah. Dead fish and algae. No, like, you like get you're deuce. You're a plastic surgeon. <laughs> like a really like. No, a, you get <laughs> Deuce Bigelow to wash your fish <laughs> tank. True. <laughs> Get Tommy to watch your fish. Slamming Lemare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> not my pool boy, not Lemare. <laughs> I've seen Lemare out there with the pool. The pool boy comes and Lemare stares at him. Decides to go tanning. Lemare <laughs> goes tanning, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, he time for my out of his room. stroll. <laughs> yeah. No, I've been here when the pool boy's here. It's very uncomfortable. Who's the one there? Because he's just right there and I'm sitting in here watching TV. Oh He's yeah, just a yeah, guy working. And I'm like, yeah. am I just in the a heat? gay guy now? <laughs> <laughs> am I just a gay whore? <laughs> Why don't you come inside and have a class? <laughs> I made him a nice le- like a lemon and a snack, a sandwich. I made you a sandwich. <laughs> he knows who I am. That's too. a cool job, though. You know, according to porn. <laughs> the, yeah. the pool guy, you know. So it's plumbing. I can see how it is. It's very sexual, and it's just me and him. Why is it sexual? Did you ever clean houses? I used to clean houses. What's the implication? Yeah, What's the implication? Porn. It's a fucking it's pool guy and it's just me and my house. There's yeah, but there's nothing inherently sexual about that. I dude, think if you dude. talk to anybody and you're like a pool boy and somebody by themselves. Because that was like the original porno plot. Well, right? there you go. You, yeah, that's why I brought it up. It oh, I thought you Most... meant it was sexual in like the way he's like. No. Oh, well, there's some sexuality in that too. I feel like a ton yeah. of women also have this like sexual fantasy about a delivery guy, an Amazon guy. Yeah, I know two yeah. people that have asked them to fuck them really? they just opened the robe and the guy was like no really what yeah. that's pretty awesome she's just like i want i have this fantasy were they attractive and the guy or the, the girl the, well, the girl was both. okay yeah she was ugly enough to do that yeah how was the yeah. guy <laughs> <laughs> well she just said she said he was just fucking hot off put he was like i'm i'm married didn't report her but you know, i cleaned oh, houses yeah. and i remember there was always the guy who was like yeah, you know, we just cleaned up this house and there was a woman, you know, the the wife was on yeah. there and, and the guy would always be like, yeah, you could tell like she would have, you know, like, you know, if you weren't here, she probably would have just like, <laughs> I'm like, I didn't see any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a woman looking in her refrigerator and then running upstairs to take like a Ambien or something. You know, that's what I saw. <laughs> I used to yeah, do. She wanted it. I used to do construction estimates, going door to door to houses in Delaware, and that was always like the fantasy. And boy, did it not pan out. Yeah, no. you gotta have. Can you the imagine look. opening the door, seeing me, and I'm like, "Is your roof leaking? Yeah. <laughs> You're not horny, are you? You wouldn't happen to be horny at when all." When was the last you? time someone ate your pussy? Yeah. <laughs> you know, my dad used to make me sell candy on the subway. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're That's up where on it our, goes down. Child, yeah. child. <laughs> he, <he's... laughs> I can't wait for somebody to tell that story on the podcast. Well, you know, like any family, you know, I would be tossed out there to sell M&Ms Chocolates. and stuff like that. And then, you know, yeah. my brother would come from behind and take his wallet. And, you know. <laughs> Get ready for the season ahead with quality shades built to last. 
Our friends at Shady Rays have you covered with premium polarized shades that won't break the bank. Shady Rays is an independent sunglasses company offering a world-class product rated five stars by over 300,000 people. Their shades have durable frames and crystal clear optics, making them the perfect choice for all outdoor adventures. They have many styles and colors to pick from. So finding your next pair of shades is a breeze. Me personally, personally endorsing this product, I love it. I can't get enough of these shady rays. <laughs> if your shades go MIA or take a hit, don't sweat it. They've got lost and broken protection. That's fucking nice. So you're covered from day one. Wear your shady rays with confidence because they have your back long after you purchase. If you don't love your shades, exchange or return them for free within 30 days. There's no risk when you shop. I gotta get Exclude. Some shut up, Chris. I gotta get shady rays. You gotta get. You gotta get your hands on some. Get your um, paws on some shady rays. Well, Chris, let me tell you where to get them. Exclusively for our listeners, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season. Head to shadyrays.com okay, I'm going there and again. use code Drenched for twenty dollars off polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over three hundred thousand people. Tommy, could you do me a favor? Why don't you turn into Ian Fidance? <laughs> What was the last time you rode a subway? What? <laughs> oh, subway? Yeah. I don't know. My um, personal assistant seems to like it, but <laughs> I, no, I haven't been down there in a while. But I'll tell you, like, uh, the last time I did, well, it was way before what's happening now. That's yeah. for sure. That was when a guy would come in the car and he would do his performance, not his uh, manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were on there. <laughs> yeah, they are. Not the death dance that we're seeing dude. down there. Dude. It is wild what's happening down there. I the other <laughs> night I saw an Asian woman who was sitting on the subway alone. Subway car, people in the car. A, a guy came up, and uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say what race he was. Yeah. No, 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 he no. was black. <laughs> <laughs> and he uh, he was like, "Can I can I have a dollar?" And she didn't respond. He goes, "Fucking answer me, bitch!" And he started like berating her. So I'm like, "What the fuck?" And so you I took got off up. your turquoise rings. And said, <laughs> I was like, going down, yeah. buddy. So I went up and I sat directly next to her like this, and I didn't make eye contact with the guy. And he saw me and he just walked away and like left her alone. Oh, she you're a hero. Like, you're a hero. Thank you, story. angel. And uh, I I didn't have like a weapon or anything, so I just had a bottle of water and I undid the cap. And so if something happened, I was going to spray him like a cat. <laughs> Holy water! That might have worked, right, dude. Yeah. We should have fucking water balloons, and when shit goes down, you hit them, and they're or like, like a uh, fire hose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and some dogs to scare <laughs> yeah. them. There you go. Right now, you're racist. No, no. yeah, stop it. You just said we should get spray bottles to keep black guys away from people. <laughs> no, no, only <laughs> at delis suggested. after when school lets out. <laughs> wow, this is, I don't think this is appropriate stuff. I'm not saying this that. is not with this. You, this is the old podcast. That's oh, what you, oh, this is no, the no. new podcast. We've, we've, we've changed. They, we don't think what you said is funny. Right they now. need <laughs> water because they're thirsty and I'm helping. No, okay. it's funny. It's still funny. Yes. <laughs> no, but I, I think water is a good. I, I brought, <laughs> I was hitting you with the hose the other day. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, there's a, you see that fucking, the thing that cleans the pool, the back of it. Has yeah. a, a hose and we were in the pool and I started spraying him and quickly we realized both of us realized instantly like oh this is, this is probably a bad look it's not good optics <laughs> turn the ring cam off <laughs> just me and him in a pool I'm going eh. this is not good optics <laughs> and it was, it had some propulsion dude. that thing was flying out of there it was really uh <laughs> dude this place is like Neverland it's the best I I will say this and this is this isn't yeah never mind I shouldn't say that say it. It is fun hitting people with a hose. It is. That's all I'll say. Bro, hitting people with water when they're not expecting it is <laughs> hilarious. Right? Yeah. You put your thumb on it, psst, the best. <laughs> what do you let? My mom has dementia. That's how we wash her. <laughs> <laughs> hose her down. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she's on a water slide. Yeah. <laughs> Kill wow. in that pool is so funny. Yeah, I'm excited. You see the hoop? Yeah. It's going to be nice. First thing I peeped. Yeah, we're going to have some battles. It's not going to go well. When do you start getting in? 
Probably it'll probably be hot Next this week. week. Today, yeah. I can't wait till you set up that first game and you get all those. Oh, can't make it. <laughs> that's you, you with like hot dogs and burgers. Yeah. That's heaven. Yeah. So I'll crush that. That's all right, man. More yeah. for me. Shoot More fun for me. Yeah. I'll work on my work game. on your three. <laughs> shoot some free throws. Dude. Oh, sorry, dude. I can't come by today. <laughs> oh, you wanted to beat me up in your pool? Uh, yeah, I can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm inviting like Gardini. I'm gonna play Gardini in pool basketball. <laughs> I got 200 pounds on him. I'm going to push him and dunk on him. Dude, get a volleyball net. I'm telling you, that'll be so fun. You know what would make you it? here if you got one of those handicap lowers? <laughs> I could use like, one. That's, that's, that's how guy. I should enter for the he's game. He's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> the Bulls championship music. Everyone's player. invited. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> invited. You say that. Everyone's invited, and then you slowly pan over to that sad crane. <laughs> 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 I always like when you see that at a hotel. It's like, well, Who's... we couldn't leave him at home. We had to bring him with us, and they got a pool. <laughs> so they got to get into it somehow. <laughs> yeah, the crane at the pool is tough, Nuts. especially when it's like a small, shitty hotel yeah. with like a five foot long pool. <laughs> and they, there's a crane there. Not being you. embarrassed. Are you guys hotel pool guys? Yeah. I'm not. He's oh, big. I love If it. it's an outdoor one, I'll do it. But they have ones where it's indoor and outdoor and you have to go like almost like Navy like SEAL bud stream. Yeah, those are fun. Those but it's always fun. the family that has never swum. <laughs> that they're like, Hi, I'm, I'm afraid, Dad. Do it. Do it. <laughs> And, I, and then you play like I'm gonna get those Thai kids out of that cave. <laughs> <laughs> How long can you swim underwater? You know how competitive you are. <laughs> God, I'd love to see Dave in there with a the family. Oh, Just dude, Dave we did. Going on I remember one thing. time. Where were we? Floor. Where were we on the road when we no, went I'm swimming? a good guess because if I see a family coming, you I go. It's time for me to get yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. It's time for me to get out. Yeah, but we it's were a fair fight. It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> we were somewhere where there was a pool and we went swimming and I was taking a while to like or like get in and he's already in there swimming like a little dolphin. And he's like, get in already. And I was like, okay. <laughs> now I always feel like that this is for the normals now. The pool is theirs. So yeah. Let them have it. Yeah. You know? But hey, you know, LA, that's a big thing. You know, you go out to do you like going out there or no? Uh it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't love it. I always stay a day too long. I yeah. think that's the problem with my that whole place. That place fucking bars close early. Oh, well, it's the worst. It's been it's that's not a, a great drinking. Be very town. careful it's out there with the drinking and driving and all that. So uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, you got to Uber that, right? Yeah. Mm. But yeah, yeah no, not they, a good drinking town. They start Early. so much earlier, though. Yeah. That's the thing. You know, I never got it out there. What's what? How they do that? But it's all weed twenty four seven there now. You know. I'm not a fan of marijuana. I don't know. It yeah. Sucks. I gotta get into it. <laughs> cut, cut back on the booze. This is a good town for that, right? It's an easy yeah. Way. Actually, no. It's never my thing, but weed. Yeah. No, this isn't. Uh, Texas is shitty no, it's on illegal. weed. It's still, I didn't know that. Still, oh, you know what else is a problem here? You tried to jack off lately? What? Yeah, the no porn. Hub. What the fuck? XXNX. It I got happened. Three other ones it happened porn. last week. I came home and I tried to whack off. They, yeah. they've taken our porn hub in Texas. Wait, why? I can't believe you guys haven't discovered. I mean, this, this is when we bear Bro. arms. Yeah. <laughs> this That's, is when I we just get the tried guns. to get on Pornhub. Yeah, it's a, wow. What happened? They've taken it from us. Go to Red X or XXNX. No, or... no, no. It's not about other options. It's about the fact that they no, took I it need away. My porn there's, there's plenty of. That's wrong. I might move back to Pennsylvania after this. <laughs> <laughs> if there's no porn up here, I'm going back to Monkeys on Dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you I don't do my pussy. Yeah. You don't do OnlyFans. No. Uh, are you allowed to do OnlyFans here? I do OnlyFans. Well, fans. then I'm doing OnlyFans, I guess. It's nice to support the gals and guys and guys dress like gals. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Gals. <laughs> yeah. What? How are they allowed to do that? You're not allowed to censor like that. I, yeah. I, I don't know what happened. This is, is your, your OnlyFans just strictly tranny? And it happened no. before. I was one, in, uh... one that I like, but it's all women. And I did have a guy named Little Baby Anthony, <laughs> and he would get gangbanged by black guys in Atlanta. Oh, no. That's what we call my nephew. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> the fuck! <laughs> Little baby Anthony is getting. Well, don't worry. He changed his name to Sissy Pussy because he chopped his. That's dick my off. niece's name. <laughs> <laughs> he changed his name to Sissy Pussy. Jesus Christ! That and wasn't already pussy taken. And I unsubscribed. <laughs> what? That was not taken already. That was like every third <laughs> domain name. <laughs> classroom. <laughs> Yeah, sissy pussies. That's a middle school bully nickname. I thought that was a Carvel treat. 
Fudgy the whale, sissy pussy. <laughs> Come on. If you're not man enough for Fudgy the whale. <laughs> so you whacked off to a guy named Little Baby Anthony, and then he changed his name to Sissy Pussy, and you're paying him, and you're whacking off to it. No, I, when he chopped his dick off, I said, I'm out. Oh, he got rid of his dick. Yeah, uh, he's got a pussy now because he's a Sissy Pussy. Uh, oh, I thought he was calling his butt his Sissy Pussy, which is very <laughs> funny. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> I he was calling his gay butt a sissy milk, pussy. Milk, milk, lemonade, turn the corner, sissy, sissy pussy. pussy. <laughs> yeah, once they chop it off, the fun is gone. Yeah. If I meet a gal that has it chopped off when I meet her, fine. But if I'm with a gal and she chops it off, is it no good? You wanted the dong. <laughs> if she's got it. What's the process with the uh, up and down, the lever itself? Does it get hard as soon as you enter? What? Like, yeah, I've seen soft birds get whacked around when they're getting knocked. But like, <laughs> what are you talking? Do they get hard Speaking when you English. get caught in the ass? The the women? Yeah. Some of them. Do the women's dicks get hard when Emma you fuck does. them in the ass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who? Emma Rose. Uh-huh. You watch that too? You know that girl? No. Check her yeah. out. Uh, I think you might have showed me this and I was like... Yeah, Texas better be banning this. <laughs> <laughs> if they took my Pornhub and I'm allowed to. I always show Dave. I go, is this girl hot? He goes, yeah. And I go, she's got a penis. You're gay forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of. Yeah, she's very pretty. Mm. She and you're telling me there's a dick in there? Or let me see. Because I don't like that. Oh, wow, let me see. Yeah, it's not her. Look at her Instagram. This. Yeah, yeah, it's it's little. It's a nice one. It fits nice in your ass. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> joking? <laughs> no, that can't be her. Look, look up her Instagram. This lady. Yeah, dude, right. she's great. She's the fucking best. She's the coolest. She's winning like a bunch of awards, and because she's super hot. She's winning like, like a, the Nobel. <laughs> what what words? Pussy <laughs> prize, <laughs> best fucking ass fucking 2019. Yeah, sissy pussy uh, ward. <laughs> getting the Pulitzer I'm this the year. Pul <laughs> the Pulitzer. Yeah. <laughs> no, but she's super hot, and it's like normalizing being with trans women in a way that, like, how do you not think she's hot? And then your brain is like, All right, no, dude. get, All you right. know? Yeah. You're not converting us. You and I got our dick sucked by a fucking trans woman on a roof. I didn't know. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I did it. Yeah, and then I tried to take her home, and she stole my phone. Oh, she did rob you. Yes, yeah, she robbed me. You fucking hypocrite. Look at you. Was it the roof Guys, of we a can wah, wrap this wah? up. <laughs> Let's really it up. Was it yeah. at a wah, wah? Yeah, a did wah, you go wah. in for a soft pretzel, and you came out with a double-headed blowjob on a... I thought she was just an aggressive hot lady on the street that wanted a little double no, bird. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I swear to God, I clocked I tell you. immediately, and we were so yacked out. We were like, oh, let's go. <laughs> high five at each other. It was great. It was fun. We Aren't you it. glad you sat down? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, you hopped I on. We got to hang out some more time. <laughs> we do. You were great when you were, when you weren't sober. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, you were great. You were fucking wonderful hang. I've gotten a lot of our friends sober. Thank you. None are sober. <laughs> oh, yeah. dude, Tommy's the last stop to lifelong sobriety. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is. He's the final boss. <laughs> 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 it's fucking crazy. We got coke one time and, and we're like, all right, let's share it. And this fucking asshole, he goes to the bathroom and comes back and it's fucking gone. And I was like, what'd you do? And he's like, I just did a toot. <laughs> you brought a Starbucks Dude. straw. What's the matter with you? Jesus Christ, anything else? <laughs> yeah, really? What the fuck? Wow. God damn, man. What? Guy That's just got to town. Now he's got to move again. <laughs> it's like the Incredible Hulk going from town to town. with Mr. Yappy over here. I'm just going to Seattle stared seagulls. <laughs> Uh, we all miss Philly. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to get? No, at? that was in New York. Oh, because we were friends in Philly, yeah. and I moved, and then you moved up. Me, you, and Nun used to go to that place in the Lower East Side Library Bar. Yeah, yeah. Pictures and shit, dude. That place was bananas. Mm -hmm. I left it was my, a carnival of clowns. Too. I left my bike there one time, and I went back to get it. And it started raining, and I was like, well, I guess I should just do Oxycontin. You <laughs> <So I was laughs> were way ahead of the curve there, I guess. Yeah. Oh, Transitter. That's good you dodged that. Oh, yeah. Getting Oxys like that? Yeah. You could have been a heroin man. 
I am so fortunate. Could have been a junkerman. I never did heroin. Every time I tried to get heroin. <laughs> the junkermans? I w- <laughs> the, the one guy in New York who can't find heroin. Ian for that. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I, I tried. Around like, hey, guys, you got any heroin? <laughs> uh, I got arrested one night cop. asking for heroin on the train. And I was fucked up and I had a 40 and I got in trouble drinking it on the street and the cops made me throw it out. So I threw it in the trash and I looked and when they left, I pulled it back out to drink it. And I went on the train. These guys are nodding off. I'm drinking it and they're like nodding off. I'm like, hey, can I have some heroin? Can I have some heroin? And they wouldn't respond. Jeez. So I threw my my beer cap at them and an undercover got me. And uh, <laughs> I had a warrant, and so I got thrown in jail for the night. It sucked. What? You had that when coming. When was this? Yeah. This was like 2013. You want to see my mugshot? <laughs> they still yeah. have jails there? <laughs> <laughs> it was before bail reform, so I was in there uh, five hours instead of two. Man. I thought you were going to wipe privilege your way out of this one. <laughs> no, man. I've been arrested. Wait, wait. Before. Did you do heroin before, or this is the first no, I time? I never did. You Every time try? I tried... I dude, I asked a guy for heroin one time, and he goes, "You're you're you're a good kid. I I don't want you to do this." I was like, "But I have money." <laughs> you just couldn't find the spoons. There was a spoon. There was a spoon shortage in the early nineties. Sporks. I was trying to do heroin, and I was just gonna. It's going to KFC getting you sporks. I'm fucked. Nailed it. <laughs> they would tie you off to shoot, and then you would just holy shit. That's you. Mm-hmm. What no. a badass. Whoa! You see a picture of the last time I ever did you change race? Coke? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were a Venezuelan. <laughs> I didn't know you were a coyote at one point. Dude, check check this out. This is wild. This is uh, the last time I did Coke. I was on a bender and I kept calling my friend to be like, "Come hang out." She's like, "No, I'm tired." And I was trying to show her that I was having fun, so I was <laughs> taking selfies. Oh my god! And I was walking my dog, knocking on people's doors, being like, "Have you seen my dog?" Because I didn't know I had her on a leash. And uh, whoa, this is you even delete these pictures. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Dude, shit! It's like man. a Jewish caricature. Look at My that jaws guy. on the other side of the street. Oh. Isn't it better that I'm sober, Tommy? Dude, I would have woke up and roofed my phone. Oh. That's like that's giving me anxiety. <laughs> that's so that's embarrassing, insane, dude. Why? Why? What do you mean? Why? This is who I was. And no, I, beat I mean it. then that's embarrassing oh, yeah. to have done. Oh yeah, so I kept drinking yeah. to make it go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so shameful. Who cares? You've come a long way, though. I don't care. I think it's funny. Thank you. Yeah. I'm saying it's so, but the next day I would have been. Yeah. Yeah, but that's so why you got to keep drinking to make it go yeah. away, you know? Well, that's probably about the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the last time you had a beard or no? Uh, April 2000 12, and 2015. Wow. Oh, Good for man. you, pal. That's mm-hmm. when you kind of fake joined ISIS. Is that it? <laughs> Coming up on nine I was years. lost. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> they had a great video online. I wanted to be a part of it. <laughs> you see the back? The boys are back? Allegedly? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alleg- I don't, I don't you know. Don't know? I don't, you don't know about that one? I've, it's been awfully quiet. But do you know who was playing there, right? Great White. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's like it's a comeback European tour, guys. <laughs> Keep it straight. Yeah. No, no pyro. Just <laughs> let the music do the talking. <laughs> ah, shit, ISIS. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fuck, they double booked us with ISIS. <laughs> like they were on the, they were on on the bill. <laughs> shit, ISIS. Hey, well, how do you celebrate an election? All right? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> That guy's got a faint excitement when they're calling the Russian vote. Oh, Putin's uh, he's up. <laughs> he's up. <laughs> Sorry, other guy who's going to have a mysterious accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't. I haven't seen anything about it really. It's, it's terrible. Of course, it's terrible. But I'm saying they're being. There's no like. Yeah, why would ISIS attack Russia? They're down there. They're meddling. Yeah, they're Russian. Don't races. you ever play the game Risk? Russia. They're very close. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Eastern European Muslims are fucking nuts. Yeah, they're right now. They're all, they all look the same. They're like I'm Eskimos. just glad the, the spotlight's off of us. That's a very right? Philly way of thinking. What do you think? They, they, they all look the same. <laughs> I've never seen them. Do they wear pants? I see them behind the counter. I don't know if they wear... <laughs> You know what I mean? Ah, whatever. Who cares? Things are fine. 
right? No, I, I don't know. It's, we're alive. No, I, I saw that right away. I was like, whoa, that's a left turn. I see yeah, that coming. Did come you? Back. Oh, oh God. God. But, I need more content. I'm all caught up. I need a new season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, ISIS will be. Yeah, that'll be a good season. Yeah. Yo, what, do you think some ISIS is coming over here with the migrants? Sneaking in? Oh, of oh. course. Getting a little silly? I, I believe know. in that. Yo, how cool would it be to be I have a, no idea. a migrant like in another country? You're with your boys and you're like, yo, do you want to go somewhere where we can just get away with crime and get paid and we'll be like Vikings overtaking, raping, You've been pillaging? hitting some Fox, haven't you? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You've been hitting the Fox News. Ah, get, <laughs> get some heroin. <laughs> Dude, just joking. I hear you, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I see. Uh, I see. It, it gets funnier. <laughs> God damn it, Dave. So what's going on? Are you excited about anything? I um, can't wait to go to the bathroom again, but I don't want to be the old man in the room. <laughs> you see how I'm not looking at the pool? Like, oh God! Oh no! It's too late. Why don't you pee? Go what pee. am I excited about? Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, Especially it's cool exciting. that you know. It's always good to hang with you guys. I guess this is like uh, a lot of fun when you're on the road and you get to hang with other comics and usually it's just you're out there like yeah. one man band so um uh big props to the mothership and joe of course that's uh really for those who are comedy fans you really have to check this club out in particular because i don't think anybody does it like that so yeah. i would definitely and all the boys your, are there go that's list. fucking great mm, and then uh so you know just more road ahead of me i mean nice. i got my special and uh hopefully people will like it and they're gonna know, love it just back out on the road i mm -hmm. think you know hot cross buns Thanks. Yeah, and uh, how about you, Ben? What are you thinking? That's it. You got on road. the road for the uh, yeah, yeah, for, for the rest of my life. life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but dude, if, uh, I the thing yeah, I hate people get sick of me in two years. No, wait, no, I got two Come years on. in the tank. Shut up, dude. The the, the <laughs> worst. <laughs> then it's the, all Aquarian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part about the road is coming home and being alone. I hate that coming home to no I one. Can't, and just that's like what you do with bands. That's when so you're not crazy. On the road. That yeah. that. I, I'm so happy when I get home. And it's really? Fun. Yes. Dude. Well, when I'm on the road, I'm doing adventures and activities. Yeah. And when I come home, I kind of want to keep it going or have someone to share it with. I just have a cat. But it must be so cool coming back here and you got fucking these guys now. Yeah. Fucking that idiot. Lemare being here helps. Although he's been gone. I was sad. He wasn't here last night. Where was he? He's over at his house sitting at Matt's. He's dog sitting oh yeah we flew a kite yesterday in the park and he's like i gotta take care of these dogs <laughs> <laughs> well, i have to stop playing with kites. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> that's yeah, a full yeah. day yeah <laughs> we went and saw ghostbusters and then went to a toy store and i got us a kite we oh flew my god Jesus dude Christ. you guys are fucking children <laughs> it was the best <laughs> you got <laughs> no funnel cake at all <laughs> <laughs> you gotta unlock your inner child you have fun no, I'm like you. I can't wait when you get back home and you're just alone. Oh, like, so nice. You open a refrigerator and eat what doesn't smell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did that today. I just had Why three did I buy eggs. strawberries? I knew they would go That's bad. All by I had the time I came yeah, back. There's, there's some kale in there from last week. Oh, I, thought, the I thought I was a better person. Yeah. <laughs> I, think yeah just, I just buy vegetables. It rots in you there. You don't think the road gets lonely? So you want to come home to something? Yeah, no, it's. it's I've been bringing my, my lifelong best friend on the road. He's not a comic. He is, we've been friends since we were 10 and we just hang out and his wife divorced him. So now he's got all this free time. Nice. So no, cool. he just fucking rolls around. It's the best. Yeah, that's fun. We share a hotel room. We watch movies, try to get some pussy. <laughs> yeah, have you ever fucked his sissy pussy yet? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not. I've never been attracted to a friend. Dang. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> Well, you don't yeah. have to say more mean shit, dude. <laughs> Why, Ian? I did my fucking. I've been wearing cologne for thirty oh, years. He <laughs> fucking on Lemare. that cis bus. Lemare's wearing cologne. Yeah, you got wearing. Good. I heard it smelled him today. I was oh. like, "What are you?" Good for you. You're, You're wearing, wearing cologne, cologne to hang out with us. What's your scent? I smell a job interview. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> don't take him for granted. Don't take him for granted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I really have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, well, thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. This is fun. Thanks for letting me crash. Check out Dave's um, special. Oh, Am I special? And Ian's in April. Yes. Hell yeah.